Hey everyone, welcome to Cooking with Jimmy K. Thanks for stopping by our page. Today we're making one of our family favorites, maple glazed ribs. In this bowl we've got most of our ingredients that we're going to mix up. We've got a cup of maple syrup. We've got three tablespoons of concentrated frozen orange juice. Three tablespoons of ketchup. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. One tablespoon of Dijon mustard. One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce one teaspoon of curry powder and then we've got some sesame seeds to finish off the ribs I've got three green onions here and I've got a clove of garlic we're gonna take all these ingredients and except for the sesame seeds and we're gonna mix them in a bowl I have it all in here and we're gonna take this garlic clove we're gonna mince it and we're gonna put it in here as well as the green onions then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this in a sauce pan and we're going to put this on the oven and we're going to bring it to a boil and then we're going to let it simmer for about 15 minutes. All right, we're going to get our ribs covered up and we're going to get them in the oven for an hour and 15 minutes. Get ourselves a little bit of a closer view here. We're going to whisk up those ingredients. So we're going to put them all in. Get all the kids in the pool. The Dijon mustard hangs up a little bit on us. Gonna get that clove of garlic minced up. Get that in there. Sometimes I'll put two cloves of garlic in, but it seems as old age creeps in, those two cloves of garlic definitely hit my wife and I differently. <laughs> I'm gonna get these onions going here. And you can just do a rough, you could mince these, but what I do is I just give them a rough dice, because once you get them on the glaze, I like a little bit of substance there, a little bit of chunkiness in my onions, and it still imparts a nice flavor. And what we're going to do is we're going to get that in the saucepan. And we're going to get those green onions in, give it a nice mix. Then we're gonna get it on the burner, bring it to a boil, and then we're gonna let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Now once it's simmering, as you know, what'll happen is, is this glaze will reduce and it'll become a little more like syrup, and that's gonna glaze those ribs real nice. And we'll be back. The ribs are out of the oven, they're looking good. After an hour and 15 minutes at 350, what we're going to do now is we're going to get those racks out of there. We're going to drain all that fat out. Then we're going to add the ribs back in and we're going to get that glaze. Just get a good shot of that glaze if you can see it. It's nice and syrupy. Delicious. I'm going to paint these up real nice and we're going to get them back in the oven uncovered. I cranked up the heat to about 360, 370 so we can get that nice glaze going on there. Alright guys, I made a last minute call to get my ribs into a smaller baking dish just so they're very tight together so we don't lose any of that precious glaze that we're going to paint on here. So we're just going to paint these up. I'm going to do a couple rounds of this and whatever's left we're just going to pour right over. The other thing you could do if you want it really candied up is you could put it underneath your broiler once you get to that last round, which we may do. We're just painting these up with this nice glaze. All it comes together. And I think one thing that you could never capture on a YouTube video or any other video, I guess for that matter, is the smell is unbelievable. With that maple syrup and orange juice, orange concentrate, I should say. Alright, we got these glazed up real nice, then we're going to flip them, glaze them up again, 
And then we're going to go all in with what's left, crank that heat up even more. Alright guys, we pulled these out after about 10 minutes. We're going to do this second side of the glaze here. And then we're going to put it in another 10 minutes. 360 is about 40 minutes. I'll probably go into the broiler because we're going to see what's left and then we're going to go all in on the last bit of glaze here. We get two nice sides and we're going to pour it all in there. And we're going to stick it under the broiler to crisp it up a little. It's looking beautiful. We'll be back. Going in for the last round of glaze on these ribs. We're going to use them all up. And we're going to put it in about another We're going to put them in about another seven minutes and then we're going to get these under the broiler. We're going to paint these. This is like the triple coat time when we're painting a room here. And again, if you could just smell this, it smells fantastic. Oh yeah. Damn. Okay, looks good. Let's get these back in the oven. All right, we're finally there. So we finished these uncovered in the oven at about 365 I put it up to. Um, you can go between 350 and 365 for 40 minutes, turning them a couple times in there as you guys saw. And then I stuck them under the broiler for a few minutes. So take a look at that nice glaze and nice color. So we're going to plate these up and then we'll be ready to go. Just to finish out our video guys, here we are. We've got the beautiful maple glazed ribs with, finished off with sesame seeds and green onions. And I take that little bit of sauce that's left in the pan and we put that on the side to glaze it up. And if you could smell these, it would be fantastic. All right, we're gonna do a little taste test and then we're gonna finish up this video. I'm gonna work the camera and taste at the same time. Oh, fantastic. So good, sweet, and tender. Thanks for watching guys and please check us out on Cooking with Jimmy K, our channel, and give us a subscribe and a follow. That would be awesome. Have a great night.